A foiler or foiling sailboat is a boat with foils able to fly above the water. An iFoiler is a high-performance foiling sailboat with increased dynamic stability and performance due to the IFS or increased foiling system. A system patented by IFS. Increased dynamic length. Increased dynamic beam. V foils with double lift. Safe foil system. Increased dynamic length. A boat when sailing experiences a friction on the surface of the water that limits its speed. In navigation with displacement, the trim of the ship is one, and when passing to the flight mode, the friction will be significantly reduced but the new dynamic trim will be much smaller, also reducing the dynamic length. Now the main folds are the forward lift force in relation to the center of gravity of the ship that hasn't changed, leaving the bows in the air and without lift. It's common to see catamarans that fly with a negative trim, that is, bows down, with the risk of suffering spectacular pitch pole or rollover by the bow. The IFS increases the dynamic length by advancing the position of the main foils to increase the forward lift and delays the position of the rudder foils by means of adjustable and extendable arms. By delaying the position of the rudder foils by lever effect increases its lift force, increasing more as they move farther away, which allows the weight backwards displacing the position of the navigator to delay the center of gravity. For example, to run before the wind with a correct longitudinal trim. To sail close hold, you can move the weight farther forward, keeping or not the rudder distance, but at a greater rudder distance, your response will be softer and the stability will be greater, while at a shorter distance, the rudder response will be more abrupt and ungovernable. In yachts and multi-hulls of great lengths where the weight of the crew is irrelevant to use water ballasts by tanks located aft, allows to optimize a dynamic trim in the same way, moving the center of gravity to convenience to achieve with it greater longitudinal stability. Increased dynamic beam in dinghies with a single central foil and one rudder both inverted T, it's difficult to keep the boat in a constant balance without losing the transversal or longitudinal stability, which requires a great physical shape and a high technical level to spend more time navigating without falling continuously into the water. If it's small catamarans with a running platform and with the same arrangement of foils, when they lose transverse stability, they put the float in the water to support it, significantly slowing down the speed of the boat. The catamarans with four foils are much more stable with four support points. The usual arrangements are four foils in inverted T or two in T and the other two in L or in J. This improvement in the transverse stability is mainly due to the separation of the points of sustentation, which is also increases the writing moment. The heel is reduced and favors the stability due to the increase of the dynamic beam, which is practically equal to the own beam of the hull. The IFS at the main foils in V oriented out to more than double of the dynamic beam with respect to the usual arrangements which achieves a remarkable increase in the writing moment, healing reduction and improvement of the transversal stability. In dinghies and yachts, the IFS dynamic beam increase system increases the writing moment, favoring a more stable, comfortable and safe flight navigation, also making it possible to increase the sail area for an increase in speed performance of ships. 
In the case of monohulls, the current systems of foils are intended to reduce the friction of the hull on the water and the heel, improving the writing moment thanks to the upward thrust of its leeward foil. Unlike this, the IFS is designed to fly the boat in foiling mode thanks to the angles of the much deeper arrangement of their foils. The IFS, by increasing the dynamic beam, increases the writing thrust of the foils, which together with the use of a tilting appendix, which will remain out of the water in flight mode, reducing friction, will help to balance the boat by reducing the list to encountering power, the force of the velic thrust, improving the transversal stability. V-foils with double lift The V-shaped foils of the IFS have two signs to increase the initial lifting power to flight mode. When the boat begins to accelerate, the lift thrust of the wing profile increases until the sign 2 or double lift lifts the water reducing the wet surface and the friction, acting then only the main sign or sign V that the more it comes out of the water, the smaller lift surface it offers. And the more it sinks in the water, the more the lift thrust increases, which, acting in contrast to the gravity or weight of the boat, automatically regulates the flight height without the need for flaps or sensor mechanism. Regardless of the medium in which they act, both the foils and the wings of the aircraft are wing profiles of asymmetric section and designed to generate upward thrust. In these profiles, with the increase in speed, the pressure generated in the lower phase is always greater than that in the upper phase. As the pressure of the gases and liquids flows from the area of greatest pressure to the area of least pressure, the lift force that makes an airplane or a ship with foils is raised. This also produces small turbulences along the entire wing by the encounter of different pressures, and it's precisely at the end of the wing, where its section tends to zero, where the pressure shock is much greater, increasing this turbulence to create a vortex, or vortex that reduces efficiency, effectiveness and performance due to the induced resistance that is generated. It's increasingly common to see winglets or wingtips with different orientation to separate the pressures and avoid the generation of vortex that increases the resistance to the advents of the aircraft, decreasing its speed and stability. The IFS system places a second downward slant or double lift on the wing end, which acts as a separation barrier between the different pressures to minimize the generation of vortices, increasing the performance of the foil and improving the strength of the foil at its tip. And being oriented down also serves to increase the safety in case of falls to the water of a crew member, since it isn't necessary to forget that the tips of any foil are sharp and can cause serious injuries. Safe Foil System beach and port. With the current systems of foils, the dinghies can beach directly on the beach without a trolley, since the wings of their foils always remain under the hull and run the risk of being damaged by friction and bumps against the ground, also the weight of the boat resting on top of them. The IFS system incorporates box foils with lower lateral exit and above the live work that allows to raise their foils, leaving their wings above the ground, without contact with it. The system also allows you to vote the boat on the shore without having to carry it until you get a deeper draft, while allowing you to navigate in shallow waters with minimally submerged foils. For yachts of greater length, safe foil system, implements an upper section articulated in the V-foils that allows them to lower below the maximum working position and then be able to pivot laterally upwards to the vertical, leaving their wings inverted over the deck 
allowing the boat to enter a normal mooring, only limited by the beam of its hull. 